Hey, what's happening, guys? Look at this guy. Dual mode detector and multimeter. This is from B side. I guess it is the B side A1 meter. It uh, auto power off. 2000 count. Temperature store dimensions. They don't say much. AC DC voltage, frequency, resistance, continuity. Live wire check, non contact, it's all together. Temperature and flashlight. So let's have a look. I got this like dirt cheap off of Amazon, I think. It was less than $20. And it's just such a, an interesting looking meter. But I thought, what the heck? I don't have enough multimeters, right? So as you can see, It's super small. So I could use a couple of AAA batteries, which did not come with it. Uno momento, por favor. AAAs are my least favorite batteries for multimeters double A's are my favorite followed by nine volts in terms of energy density the uh oh that battery is good the screw is probably gone forever one moment this is the greatest nine dollars i ever spent at harbor freight it's a magnet on a telescoping stick and if you work over a carpet it's worth its weight in gold because I actually have the, the little screw. All right, let's power it up and see what happens. Auto, 21.1 degrees C. Interesting, all right. Let's have a look in the, uh, I'll turn it off. Have a look in the manual, see what it says to do, shall we? Okay. Long press for power on off, short press to disable enable power off. Oh, okay. All right, let's have a look here. So if I do a short press here, yep, you see the little power thing? That's the auto power off, turning off. So there's voltage, DC. There we are, back to auto. All right. So now we have the, the center button, which now well, you can tell it has a, uh, it says V alert and a temperature thing on it. It says long press. It changes the unit from centigrade to fahrenheit so long press it there you go 70 degrees in here short press non-contact voltage sensing normal or high mode and then we have long press on the flashlight button backlight on and off short press live resistance continuity okay so live resistance continuity So it does get past in this mode. We'll just have to figure out how to get there, I'm guessing. All right. Let's, uh, let's get rid of these absolutely awful probes they send with these meters. And we're going to bring in the same set of probes that we have tested every multimeter on this channel with. They are probe masters. They're gold-plated, super soft and flexible silicon wire. And before you start writing your complaints as to why I don't use the ones in the kit, it is because we have tested every single multimeter on this channel with this particular set of probes. So by testing everyone with the same set of probes, we have eliminated probes from the equation. We are not 
taking into account any capacitance or inductance or resistance of the probes because they're all the same so we can just eliminate that and see how the meters behave okay you gotta be kidding me Really? Yeah, look at the difference. Okay. So it doesn't use standard four millimeter banana jacks. Man, that's another tick. So I got three ticks off this thing already. Let's see. Whoops. Knocked my sign over. It's this wire on the top of it's giving me some some issues for right now. I haven't come up with a uh, a permanent mounting solution for it yet. I do have these. You know what that was? It just rolled off my desk. I have this nice set of Coates probes, but I don't think they're going to fit either. Let's find something here. Nope. So if you can't use standard probes with it, it's basically a toy. That's my opinion. All right, let's put their crap probes on it. There is no reason for this it looks like let's get you some light here can you see down in there it looks like it's angled in like a like a cone I mean, why, why would you do that all right so let's turn it off turn it on Turn the light on. And the first thing I have is a, uh, this is a 1K resistor. Yeah, I can't see that. Read 980 ohms. Close enough. All right, here is a diode. Let's see what it thinks about the diode. I'm trying to read it like a resistor. Now let's see, select, live. All right, how the heck am I supposed to te test the diode on this thing? AC, DC continuity, capacitance. There you go, capacitance. It doesn't have a diode check. All right. Let's check. How do I get this back in the capacitance mode? I know I'm looking like an idiot here, but hey, this is the same uh, boat you'd be in if you bought this thing. Switch, long press. Short press, live resistance economy, DC, AC, com input. I can't figure out how to get to the capacitance mode. So we'll do short presses here. We'll figure this out. AC. Okay, it's an auto. Let's leave an auto and see if it'll read a capacitor. This should be a, a 105. Should be like 1024 nanofarad. Thousand, around 1,000 some nanofarad. Can I take these damn caps off here so I get more access?
Now you can hear my neighbor's freaking dog. Yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, let's take it apart. I mean, so far I'm pretty disappointed. But you know, 20 bucks. Don't be expecting a fluke for 20 bucks, right? You can get a lot better meters for 20 bucks. Um, every Zotec in existence would beat this thing hands down. No more screws. It should just pop open. One moment. All right, I got it open, got it pried apart. I see no fuses. Take it apart even more. I'm going to tell you right now, my, my recommendation on this is no way. You can see this is uh, version 1.2. I mean, if you're interested in the meter with this kind of form factor, I would suggest waiting till maybe version 2. This is all built as cheaply as possible. They've even tab-locked in the... Uh, circuit board. I hate that. Hmm. Yeah, this is just junk. Sorry, B-side. Call him as I see him. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. You know, it's patron money I use to buy things like this, so thank all of you patrons for being there and supporting the channel and keeping us going. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And, of course, if I didn't have you guys to make videos for, I wouldn't be there either. So thank you for watching. And if you're not a patron, there's a link down below. Buck a month is all I ask. Keeps the channel going. Let's us get fun stuff to play with. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.